Uh, I'm Ashik Khan from NTT Docomo. We are the largest mobile telecom operator in Japan. Telecom services require very high availability. We have developed a purely open source solution on OpenStack, which can achieve such high service availability features for telco. So far, telecom operators were procuring these features in a custom built way. That's high cost as we are doing it in a purely open source manner that reduces the cost for a telco operator. Apart from how fast we recover a node from fault, I would like people to look into the architecture. We have developed a very smart architecture which people can take as a reference if they have similar looking requirements to realize in OpenStack or in open source. When you custom build something, it's a one-to-one -one relationship. But if when you look at this booth, you'll see many other companies participating in the same project to achieve a requirement from a telco operator. This collaboration among this multi-party collaboration was possible only because of open source. My name is Carlos Gonçalves. I'm an R&D engineer in NEC. So this year uh, at the OpenAP Summit, we are showing Docker projects and uh, our improvements that we did since last year. And this year we are focusing on the inspector component in our architecture. Telcos, they can expect with this work to be able to transition to a cloud environment, to a virtual environment, where fault management is accomplished in a very nice way and very fast. So they can expect um, the service assurance to be close to what they had in the legacy uh, deployments. For this year, I would like our visitors to learn uh, what we did uh, in addition to last year edition at the OpenFE Summit in San Francisco. Uh, so this year we are focusing on the inspector component in our architecture and that allows the operators, the users sitting on top of our platform to be able to flexibly and dynamically to configure uh, the, the platform so that they can um, set their own policies and um, configure the platform so that when there is a failure occurring in the platform they can uh, do some certain actions automatically. So with open source, we have many companies uh, working together in, in, in our project in Docker and that allow us to discuss more and uh, get more ideas and get more hands on, more developers, more engineers, uh, more researchers working on, 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 this, on this idea and that will in the end give us a better solution. Hi, my name is Dr. Alicia Rosenzweig. I work for Cloudband Nokia where we develop an end-to-end -end solution for NFV. And recently, we've been working on Vitrage, an open stack project for root cause analysis. So here in the OPNFV Summit in Berlin, we're going to be showing how Vitrage works within the Doctor framework, specifically implementing the Inspector project, which is about collecting um, uh, monitoring information and making sense of it, and then sending it up to uh, the, the relevant uh, um, software components that need to be aware of what's happening so they can make intelligent decisions. Vitrage is within the Doctor framework, is going to impact the industry by making sense of all the mess which is created by the multiple mon monitoring tools and the different layers that we have in NFV, both physical and virtual. The problem we have today is that there is so much information, making sense of it and being able to make intelligent decisions is difficult. And what Vitrage is all about is making, putting it all together into one view. As you can see here on the screen, you can see that we have this graph showing all the different entities and how they're related to one another Having all this information here um, in one view showing the connection between all the different entities is exactly what we need in order to be able to make intelligent decisions uh, moving forward in, in, the system, in, the, in the cloud. I think one of the worries within NFV is that we have so much information, we have physical and virtual uh, um, faults that are occurring and everything is inter interrelated that it's hard to make sense of it. And so people are more uh, um, concerned about adding more information into the mix worrying that it will only create more, more of the same mess. But what we can see with Vitrage is you can take these five alarms, for example, and you can arrange them to show the way these alarms are, are related to one another. And so by making sense of all this information, we can then leverage it to make better decisions. So the message would be we should have more information, not less, and focus our, our efforts on making sense of the data in a way that's visual, that we can understand in a human way, and also that different uh, software uh, tools could then leverage to make better decisions in how to manage an, the NFV system. With open source, we were able to both get um, help from the community in terms of actual contributions, uh, but I think even more than that, it's making sure that the final solution 
is suitable for many vendors. And so we're not constantly reinventing the wheel for different customers. We have a single platform that everybody's collaborating on. We get feedback from the whole industry. We make sure to correct our mistakes early on. And then make, so we know that eventually what we develop will actually be used and it won't just be waiting on the shelf for somebody to, you know, to, to pass by in the virtual marketplace.